drawing I, I'm going to do. It's um, It's been quite a while since my last drawing, as always. So, I don't actually... Well, to be honest, I've been... Um, I've watched, watched a few episodes of um, Adventure Time and uh, really become influenced by by that kind of I don't know how you'd say it kind of psychedelic sort of cartoon ideas that come out of it uh, we'll, we'll do the, the colouring in later Sometimes my, what I talk about doesn't make sense, because I'm like trying to think of what I'm going to be drawing. So how I, I draw is I, I always start off with the eyes. It's like my, my base point. Start with the eyes, okay? And um, I think we won't do a mouth yet. As I've said before, um, the, I I really like the kind of childish looking designs of um, that are out there I was just walking walking around the streets in the city on the weekend and I saw it's just a really simple um, design It just had eyes like this, it was like a box, and it had just a few lines like this. It kind of takes inspiration from um, like Tim Burton, I suppose, kind of like the Halloween, Halloweenish qualities that it has. So I could either turn this into a skull. Kind of looks like a, a spider, but I hate spiders. So we won't be doing that. Hmm. When in doubt, don't know the parameters of your creature or whatever it is just do like pencil marks to to kind of find out the boundary lines
So yeah, I said I I would check out Adventure Time, and that was it's a really hilarious show. I suggest everyone check it out if they haven't already done so. suppose this is kind of, that's like a beard. I suppose when you've got the eyes like this, just um, two black dots, it makes it like all your characters kind of start off from the same point. And there's kind of like a, a common thing, common thread that joins all these characters together. So this is his, his beard I suppose. looks like a loaf of bread. Maybe he is a loaf of bread. Or he could be coming out of a toaster. So the story of this character is he was just a loaf of bread to begin with and then one day he was put into a toaster and unfortunately the toaster was a magical toaster. And he became one with the toaster. But he was quite happy being a toaster because 
realized that it was an extension of himself. Because as a loaf of bread, he was only, he could only do so much. But now, he was much more, and he could do so much with himself. So what I like about just doing these kind of um, whisper videos is that I start off with kind of nothing, just two dots and you let your imagination flow and you come up with something insane like this. A toaster boy. I don't know if he has arms or not. But you know, this kind of... You start off with the eyes and it can pretty much become anything you want it to. As your, as your imagination just runs wild. I hope this has been an interesting video for you. Yeah, I don't want to do too much more to it because it kind of looks pretty perfect. I like to keep things simple. So until next time.